Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new upcoming Assassin Predator. This is the Unarmored Edition, a little bit of a redeco. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice overall Predator package. There's a little bio if you want to go ahead and screen grab this. Will be out towards the end of February into March. And it will be a Walmart exclusive first. And then after initial grace period, it will hit other stores. Here's everyone involved for the happenings of this figure. Here's the barcode if you want to screen grab that as well. And of course, much like most NECA packages, you open it up, get to see the figure, nice photo, all that good stuff. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Predator from the Predator movie, the Unarmored Assassin Predator by NECA Toys. And here's the old Unarmored Assassin Predator sporting a spiffy new paint job out of the packaging. And he is quite awesome. If you didn't get the first, I think you'll definitely appreciate this one. I know I do. I actually like the colors on this one a heck of a lot better, even though the first version did replicate what was seen on the screen for the most part. And he's great. It's a good looking Predator. One that I think Predator fans, those that collect all the different Predator figures, this is going to go great with the first one. And I'll have a look, a little bit of comparison in just a few in this video. But you're going to need two stands for this guy. He's a little top, top, he topples over. We'll just say that. Couple of accessories. It's the same exact accessories, the same exact figure as the first release. But the main difference being is that he has that spiffy new paint job, which for me kind of resembles... The more cla like almost classic Predator type look. A little bit of that lighter skin with the brown undertones to it. You can see that menacing alternate head right there. And I really like that it's like a tiger stripe kind of thing. You know, it's just a very cool, interesting Predator. Look at all the dreadlocks. All the individual dreadlocks with the copper paint on it. The back of the legs. Everything is painted. And that's what's really nice. Even the gauntlets with the weapons systems. Those are cool as well, and they have snap-on weapon accessories, like the blade here, which is going to slice you and dice you up, fits in there nicely, secures in there nicely, and it looks good amidst all the techno. Same thing on the other side, there is a hole in it, obviously, and you can attach the laser tracker, seeker, predator weapon, whatever you want to call this thing, and it has some articulation to it, you can kind of have it go, woof, 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 you know, every which way. And it simply fits right in there and it stays great. There is a covering, teeny tiny little piece. You don't want to lose this in the carpets, right? Fits right over the hole if you didn't want to have the laser popping out of it. You're going to need two stands for this guy. As I said, he's very top heavy. He's got little teeny tiny feet. But if you got some doll stands or some kind of neck of stands, that works great as well. He's huge, putting him up against other NECA Predator figures, yeah, he's large and in charge, is quite the Predator Hunter, as we kind of saw in that movie, especially up against the Alpha Predator, but we all know who's going to win this one. Great Predator, by the way. But again, it's the look of this Predator, the size, the feel, he is very cool. Same thing with most NECA figures, let's say, for instance, the Batman convention exclusives, Green Lantern, Jon Stewart, Towers in them, but you can have some fun. Batman versus Predator. Hey, you know, he's going up against the unarmored assassin. Now, sure, why not? When comparing him to the first release, as I said, it's the same exact figure, same exact weapon, same exact head. They're just two different paint jobs and they both complement each other. I wouldn't say that one is necessarily insanely better than the other, but I like the new color scheme better. I did like the old color scheme from the previous figure, but this new one's great, and you can interswap the heads and hands, you can have them be all over the place kind of predator, you know what I mean, multi-species, I don't know, whatever, they all fit, same pieces, but that's really going to wrap it up for my look at this brand new unarmored assassin predator by NECA Toys, and again, thank you to them for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. If you missed it, this will be available at Walmart first, starting around the end of February, into March, and then after a little bit of a grace period, some time, give it a month or two, something like that, 
it will then be available wherever else that you buy your NECA figures. So you can pick them up at Target. So, curious to know what you guys think. You be grabbing this Predator? Does he need a spot on your shelf? Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything Predator. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yeah, it might be Walmart, but if you can get them early, grab them. If not, hey, you got another chance at other places. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.